Hello everyone. Welcome to Jnana Diksha Concept Based Digital Learning. I am K. Geeta Rani, lecturer in Microbiology at Telangana Social Welfare Residential Degree Colleges for Women, Barangal West. Today I am going to speak on the topic Principles and Applications of Genetic Engineering. Before I enter into the topic, I would like to discuss about the learning objectives. What is genetic engineering is? Scope of genetic engineering? History? Principles and procedures of genetic engineering? Molecular tools used in genetic engineering? Applications of genetic engineering? Finally, pros and cons of genetic engineering. Before I would like to start entering into the topic, I would like to give an intro about what a genome is. Genome is a complete set of DNA in an organism, including all its genes. Each genome contains all the information needed to build and maintain organism. Genetic material can be either DNA or RNA. Genus consists of enough DNA to code for one protein. Main important functions of genes are firstly inheritance. Genes transferred from parents to their children, from children to the next generations, and so on. Second important functions of genes are gene regulation. It helps to synthesis of proteins like enzymes and hormones in the body. Here the question arises: can we modify the genome? Yes, it is possible to modify the genome of plants and animals and different organisms. How is it possible? It is possible with the help of genetic engineering. Genetic engineering is the process of altering the DNA in an organism's genome. It is also called as gene manipulation or gene modification or recombinant DNA technology. In this process, the pieces of DNA or genes are transferred from one organism to another organism. It can be either between humans to bacteria or bacteria to plants, humans to sheep or from sheep to plants. Next, speaking about scope of genetic engineering. The technique of genetic engineering has been applied in various fields such as in various fields of basic research, Industrial biotechnology, medicine, it is used in medicine, which is used for the production of natural and synthetic drugs, has ability to produce novel drugs in the future. At the same time, it has numerous applications for agriculture. It mainly focuses on biochemistry, cell biology, molecular biology, evolutionary biology, and medical genetics. Genetic engineering graduates are required in government as well as private organizations. With the increasing number of biotech firms in India, future score in genetic engineering is good. Talking about history of genetic engineering, the first DNA molecule was constructed by Paul Berg in 1972. Therefore, he is also called as father of genetic engineering. The first Genetically modified bacteria generated by Herbert Boyer and Stanley Cohen in 1973. The first genetically modified animal was mouse, created in 1974 by Rudolf Genesch. In 1978, the technology was commercialized with the production of insulin. In 1983, an antibiotic resistant gene was first inserted into tobacco plant. In 1994, the first genetically modified food, tomato, its name has flavor flavor. It was made to increase the shell life. In 1997, the first successfully cloned large mammal was sheep and it is named as Dolly. In 2003, began to sell genetically modified organisms as pets. Example blowfish. Let us see how this genetic engineering is going to work with a small example. Insulin is a hormone produced from pancreatic cells which helps in regulating 
glucose levels in the blood. Deficiency of it may lead to diabetes mellitus. Generally, we call it as sugar. Then, the doctor advises such person to take insulin. Such insulin is produced by manipulation from the E. coli bacteria. It is available in the market in the name of humulin and other names too. Coming to the principle, there are five steps. Starting with the first one, isolation of gene of interest, joining of gene of interest through a vector, forming a recombinant DNA molecule, introduction of recombinant DNA into the host cell, replication and expression of recombinant DNA, finally selection of recombinant progeny called as genetically modified organism. Coming to the procedure, let us look in detail. We can see here on the screen we have E. coli bacteria and human cells with DNA containing gene of interest that is insulin gene on the either side. The first step is to isolate plasmid from the E. coli and isolate DNA from the human cell. Now try to identify the gene which is coding for insulin. Now cut plasmid and insulin gene with the same restriction enzyme. Now there is a nick created in the plasmid and gene of interest on the other side. Combine insulin gene and plasmid DNA with the help of enzyme ligase resulting in recombinant DNA molecule. Put recombinant plasmid into the bacterium by transformation. Allow bacterium to reproduce. Now we obtain clone of cells which are producing insulin. Now isolate insulin from these cloned bacteria. Now this insulin is uh, tested, certified and it is packed and then it is marketed and it is available in the markets for the public welfare. Let us look what are molecular tools of genetic engineering are. The molecular tools namely restriction enzymes are mostly used in the common DNA experiment. Restriction enzymes are also called as restriction endonucleases, a protein produced by bacteria and another enzyme is DNA ligase used. Restriction endonucleases act as a molecular scissors which cut DNA into small fragments at specific sites called restriction sites. Restriction endonucleases are categorized into two groups based on types of cuts they create. The first one is the cuts with sticky ends or cohesive ends. For example, we have eco r one three, BAM H1, other enzymes used to cut DNA to obtain protruding ends, that is complementary ends. The second type of cut is cuts with blunt ends. For example, BAM HAE3 SMA SMA1. When we cut the DNA with this set of enzymes, we get blunt ends. Each enzyme is named after the bacterium from which it is isolated. Using a naming system based on bacterial genus, species, and strain. For instance, if we look E. coli restriction enzyme, E is derived from genus name that is Escherichia. Cu stands for species name that is Cola. R describes about strain R by 1 3 and it is first identified and hence 1. So in this way all other restriction enzymes are also named. Next talking about vectors. Vectors are going to play a very important role in genetic engineering. Vectors are DNA molecules which carry a foreign DNA fragment to be cloned. What are ideal characteristic features of vectors? These are vectors should be small in size, should have origin of replication, they should have they should have ability of self-replicating, easy to isolate and purify, easily introduced into the host cell, should contain unique target sites for many restriction enzymes. Restriction enzymes. The most important vectors are plasmids, examples, 
पी बी आर थ्री टू टू और पक एटीन और नाइनटीन बैक्टीरियो फाज एग्जाम्पल लामदा फाज और एम थर्टी कॉस्मेट्स फास्मेट्स बी ए सी वाई ए सी दीज आर नथिंग बट बैक्टीरियल आर्टिफिशियल क्रोमोजोम और ईस्ट आर्टिफिशियल क्रोमोजोम दीज आर्टिफिशियल क्रोमोजोम डेवलप इन ऑर्डर टू क्लोन लार्ज जीनोमिक डीएनए फ्रैगमेंट्स होस्ट सेल What is the host here? Host is the living system in which recombinant DNA, molecule, or vector can be propagated. Host can be a prokaryotic cell, example bacterial cell, or it can be a eukaryotic cell such as yeast, insects, plant, or animal cells. When talking about methods of treat, uh, when talking about methods of gene transfer methods of gene transfer occur by either direct or indirect methods direct method is without vector and it is used by means of physical methods or chemical methods physical methods such as micro injection gene gun method or electroporation techniques chemical methods such as polyethylene glycol or calcium phosphate proteins dendrimers etc indirect gene transfer method occurs with the help of biological vectors such as agrobacterial tumefaciens or agrobacterial rhizogenes or it can be virus mediated form so now talking about the most interesting part of this session is applications of genetic engineering genetically modified organisms that are obtained can be used in various fields such as basic research crop and animal trait improvement food industry environmental restoration pharmaceuticals and health industries when we talk about the applications in food industries in dairy industries currently genetic manipulating techniques are extensively used in enhancing the performance of microorganisms in dairy product processing recombinant enzymes obtained from microbes like thymosin like example we have e coli pleuromyces lactis aspergillus niger previously rennet is produced from calf stomach that is useful in making cheese but shortage of rennet led to the development of thymosin traditionally ripening of the cheese takes 6 to 12 months under controlled conditions but enzymes that are produced from genetically modified bacteria like proteinases lipases beta glycosidases will enhance ripening of cheese within a short period and improves the flavor alpha amylase enhances the flavor in beer industry milk rich in omega 3 fatty acids generally found in fish oils and nuts which protect against heart diseases and play important role in brain functioning genetically modified cow milk has high levels of omega 3 fatty acids has been produced preservatives such as lactic acid vinegar etc are also being produced genetically modified fish are used in scientific research like salmon and tilapia developed for use in aquaculture food production wild type fish requires almost 24 to 30 months to reach market size almost 4 to 6 kg whereas genetically modified fish requires 18 months to achieve this therefore it increases the food production it is used as a bioreactor for development of biomedically useful proteins they are used as an indicators for aquatic pollutants too now talking about the applications in pharmaceutical industries in the preparation of recombinant vaccines that is hepatitis b vaccine the gene producing hepatitis b surface antigen 
is isolated from the hepatitis B virus and inserted into bacterial plasmid vector forming recombinant DNA. Now, this recombinant DNA is introduced into yeast cells and this recombinant yeast will multiply in the fermentation tank and produces hepatitis B surface antigen. To make human growth hormones that stimulate growth and used to treat doubts. Example, somatotropin is a hormone. Antibiotics are one of the biotechnological products. They are naturally produced by fungi to attain advantage over bacterial population. Using this technique, antibiotics are produced in large scale by manipulating and cultivating from fungal cells. Recombinant insulin produced from E. coli is used to treat diabetes. Monoclonal antibodies are typically made by cell cultures that involves fusing myeloma cells with mouse spleen cells immunized with desired antigen that can grow indefinitely. Monoclonal antibodies used to treat cancer used in pregnancy kits to identify small levels of hormones called human chorionic gonotropic present in the urine of pregnant women. Also used to locate blood clots as they bind to clots. Precombinant interferons. Normal interferons are virus induced proteins. It is produced in small quantity from the human blood cells and it is very costly. It is now possible with the help of this molecular technique to produce interferons by much cheaper rate. Gene therapy. Gene therapy is a process of insertion of genes to replace abnormal genes. It is used when a single defective gene is identified and then healthy gene is replaced to make it functional. Functional gene transfer can occur in viral or non-viral vectors. It is treated ex vivo. For examples, diseases like Severe combined immunodeficiency syndrome can be treated with the ex vivo gene therapy treatment and can also be treated by in vivo replacement of defective genes by adenovirus vector. It is used to treat the diseases like cystic fibrosis. Transgenic animals. What are these transgenic animals? Production of pharmaceuticals, valuable human proteins from the milk of transgenic animals is known as animal farming. Transgenic sheep used to produce factor 9 and 8 to treat hemophilia. Alpha 1 antitrypsin to treat emphysema or cystic fibrosis. Transgenic mice used as a human disease model for HIV, cancer, diabetes and other diseases also. Transgenic goat with TPA gene insert produces tissue plasminogen activator in milk used to dissolve blood clots. Transgenic pig with human beta globin gene produces hemoglobin. In their blood. Transgenic cattle with lactose gene insert produce milk and this milk is good for lactose intolerant eating. In agriculture sector, genetic engineering principles uh, are going to play a very important role and vital role. The plants whose genome is altered by adding one or more transgenes are called transgenic plants. Transgenic crops have number of improved traits. Production of extra nutrients in the food, increased growth rate, disease resistance and herbicide resistance, better taste, 
increased shell life, less requirement for water. Therefore, they can resist drought. Some of the examples of such crops are we have many available in the market in the form of vegetables, fruits. For instance, we have BT cotton. Expresses insecticidal protein derived from Bacillus thuringiensis. This bacteria has a gene called Cry gene. Indicates crystalline gene. Next examples are Bt corn, Bt corn, Bt brinjal. Bacillus thuringiensis carry a gene responsible for producing a protein in crystalline form, and this protein is non-toxic under normal conditions except alkaline conditions in case if this pest is going to attack the crop it is going to feed on this variety so the protein injects along the feed it enters into the gut of the pest where there are alkaline conditions now this non-toxic protein will change into toxic form it is going to create perforations in the epithelial lining of the gut and therefore it is going to kill the pest. In this way, the pest is killed in the middle of its life cycle. When we talk about the next example, that is golden rice. Golden rice is modified to produce high levels of beta carotene used for body to synthesize vitamin A in the people who are suffering with vitamin A deficiency. In the next example, agrobacterium humifaciens causes crown gall diseases. It is rod-shaped gram-negative bacteria. It is a soil bacteria. It is used as a tool in genetic engineering in plants. When this bacteria infects the damaged tissue part of the plant, or through any wound of the plant, it releases Ti plasmid into plant cell. Ti stands for tumor inducing. It is going to cause tumors in the plant. Through this technique, Ti gene is replaced with some other useful gene, which helps in improvement of the crop yield and quality. Tobacco plant transformed with the gene taken from the firefly and the gene is responsible for coding a protein called luciferase and this protein is responsible for emitting light during the daytime. It is going to absorb the photons when light is present and it is going to emit the photons when it is dark. So it is responsible uh, for bioluminescence just like a radium that glows in dark. Even this plant or animals is going to glow during dark. By using this molecular techniques, uh, many indoor plant varieties are used for decorative purpose and they are planted along the roadside for which street lights are not required. Genetic engineering is also going to play a very important role in bioremediation. What is this bioremediation as? It refers to the process of using microorganisms to remove environmental pollutants and other toxic material. It is also called as biorestoration or bioreclamation. It is a process where detoxification of faded compound and conversion to a product that are no more longer hazardous to the human health and environment. One such scientist, Professor Chakrabarti, produced a new bacterial species named Pseudomonas putida. It is also called a superbug. Why it is called superbug? It is an oil metabolizing bacteria. It is produced by genetic cross linking that fits all the four plasmid genes isolated from different strains of bacteria, resulting in a new, stable, bacterial species named Pseudomonas putida. It is capable of breaking down oil much faster than previous four stains alone.
such organism is introduced into all spills to clean up the oceans otherwise it may lead to negative impact like fire explosions killing the aquatic creatures spoiling the quality of air and water finally when we talk about pros and cons till now we have seen all the beneficial effects of this genetic engineering some of them are parents can choose the child's attribute there is a lot of benefit in concern with human health it is used to treat genetic disorders it is also very much helpful in agriculture sector fighting with pests acquiring the pest resistance by the crop there are uh, new possibilities in the future positive traits positive traits need to be utilized now speaking about disadvantages it may lead to unfavorable diversity genetically modified organisms as grown outdoor has fear of foreign genes they contain may spread to other plants risky pathogen sometimes may cause many uh, diseases there are many negative side effects also unintended results may come out due to abusive handling there is a possibility that genetically modified organisms being released into the environment that may act as a bio weapon and lead to negative impact more risk of geneticists making mistakes before i conclude let us have a quick summary about what we have seen till now firstly what is genetic engineering by this time i think you might have got an idea what is genetic engineering is it is nothing but a gene manipulation technique or a gene modification technique so what we are going to do here with the help of this molecular technique we are trying to change or alter the structure of genome we are trying to identify our gene of interest and trying to uh, isolate that and insert into some other organism so how can we do that if we can't uh, cut and uh, insert into another organism no we need some vectors in order to transfer our gene of interest from the source uh, to the host okay so these uh, vectors are also called as a carrying vehicles because they are going to carry our gene of interest so we have seen uh, uh, what is the scope of genetic engineering is there is a very good scope for genetic engineering graduates they are in good demand uh, by government and the private sectors we have seen we have seen about the history then principles and procedure we have seen uh, there are five different steps in the principle identification and separation of gene of interest and insertion of this gene of interest into the uh, vector now introduce this vector into the host cell coming to the molecular tools used in genetic engineering we have seen about the enzymes that is restriction endonucleases DNA ligases. We have seen. We have talked about different vectors. What are different types of vectors? Are how they are going to be useful? How they are going to carry our gene of interest? And what is the host cell doing there? Okay. And when we talk about the applications of genetic engineering, there are many applications of genetic engineering, and I could be uh, able to explain few of them. And uh, coming to the applications uh, they are used in many industries they are used in dairy industry they are used in textile industry paper industry in many industry pharmaceutical industry medicine etc in the preparation of drugs novel drugs to treat many diseases etc they are also used in bioremediation that is cleaning up of the environment and finally discussed about pros and cons of genetic engineering so finally i would like to thank the society and doordarshan channel for giving me this beautiful opportunity i request all the students to stay home during this pandemic and keep watching the live sessions of online classes thank you thank you very much